This is a demonstration of the new Galapagos Ice Dent Infinite. So the new hand piece for our ice dents, you're gonna see here in a moment. This is that new injector hand piece. It actually has a sleeve built onto it. So you no longer have to retract the needle to expose the trocars. And so just by placing it inside of the eye, it pulls that trocar into view. Um, keep in mind, these new ice dent infinites run off of the same trocar as the new injectors where the tip of that trocar is a little bit shorter than the classical eye stent inject wide. So you do have to push slightly harder if you're noticing that your stents aren't going directly into the trabecular meshwork on the first go. The nice part about this eye stent infinite is where it, gets, where it gets its name from is we are no longer limited to the amount of clicks you can do to implant one of the stents. You have an infinite amount as long as you continue to reload the stent or don't drop the new stent into place then you can continue to actually try to inject. And so here, what they recommend is your first stent go directly across from where you insert the eye. So right there at 12 o'clock, and then they want you to drop one down at six, or I should say um, 90 degrees off in both directions. And so I did the first one at 90 degrees on the left, the second one at 90 degrees on the right. I try to get way off into the periphery. And so most of the time it's a hard view when you try to see my lateral stents here, when I injected that first, I mean, that second stent, I felt like I didn't get quite the injection I wanted. And so here I'm sticking in the visco cannula and I'm just pushing a little bit of visco in the area to clear up my view. And the second I do that, I see the stent rotate. So I know that this one is not, this one has not been implanted correctly. So the first thing I try to do usually is use the tip of that um, visco elastic injector to try to push that stent in the meshwork. And if that doesn't work, I float that stent into a better position where I can see it a little easier. And then I usually insert the eye stent injector and use the trocar on the injector to actually pick up the stent. And that's what you're gonna hear. And so here, I'm just gonna rotate that stent down and I'm gonna use the trocar from the injector itself to pick the stent up, as you can see. And then I'm gonna move it right back into the location where I want. And because it's the infinite, I have as many times as I want to be able to push down on this injector and try to reinsert that stent. And that's what you're seeing right here. So once I get to where I think I have a good spot, I inject, it looks good from here. Nope, looks like I don't like this injection either. So I actually am re-picking up this stent. So here, I actually use the tip of the trocar to push it in that last little bit. And now I'm gonna use, bring in my viscoelastic injector. I'm gonna clear the area again and just make sure that that stent is completely lodged in place and stable, which it is now, it looks good. I'm gonna check all my stents one more time. So again, with visualization, it looks good. It's not moving. It's nice in position. I'm tapping it very gently to make sure it truly is lodged in place. And here they all look good. I'm gonna go in here in a second with the viscoelastic injector and just prove on the side that this one's in a good location. You can see that blood reflux, which is what we wanna see. And that's a nice demonstration of the new injector for the Einstein Infinite.